Hey everyone, so we've got another SAT math problem that says, what is the smallest solution to the equation? So this is just straight up algebra, right? Um, so let's just start this off, right? So I'm not going to rewrite the entire thing, but we have square root x minus 2 squared equals square root 3x plus 34. So the first thing we want to do here is get rid of the square root. So let's just square both sides, right? And so we'll bring this over. And so now we're left with the following equation. I'm going to write this in white. So we have x minus 2 squared equals 3x plus 24. And so now we know that x minus 2 squared can be rewritten as x squared minus 4x plus 4. And we can set this equivalent to 3x plus 34. And so now we just want to get everything on one side, right? Because then it's going to become a quadratic equation in which then we can just factor and solve for the zeros. So here, if we subtract 3x and subtract 34, we'll get the following. We'll get x squared. Negative 4x minus 3x will be negative 7x. And then positive 4 minus positive, oh, sorry, positive 4 minus 34 will give us negative 30. And the important thing here is we want to set this equal to 0. And so now we can just factor this out, right? So we have x squared minus 7x minus 30. Um, you know the drill, find two numbers that multiply to 30, uh, we're negative 30 in our case, and add to negative 7. So here we can just write x, and we just find the factor. Let's use 10 and 3. And so we can use negative 10, x minus negative 10, and x positive 3. And that will be equal to zero. And so now we want to solve for the x values, right? So we're going to set both of these equal to zero. So we have x minus 10. That was a little wonky. x minus 10 equals zero. And x plus 3 equals zero. And so we can find that x equals positive 10 and x equals negative 3. And so it wants the smallest, um, smallest solution to the given equation. And so we can clearly see that negative 3 is smaller than positive 10, and therefore negative 3 is going to be our answer. 